Hey guys, how you doing? Right here again. If you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho. Uh, this is going to be just a quick video, guys. Um, as you know, probably from the 570 video that I put out, the last one, I did sell it. Uh, not that there was anything wrong with it. Um, I've got my eye on a 7, probably a 700 Goblin down the road, guys. After seeing it and the, the build and everything, it was kind of similar to the 500. Uh, not that big, big of a change as far as size. To, you know, right now I have uh, three helicopters that are very different. I have a, an Align uh, 450L Dominator. Uh, got this new 700 back here, Pro. And the Goblin 500, which I love. Uh, and they all fly very different, okay? And that was one of the reasons, and I had some other projects, and my buddy Phil really liked it, so, you know, I sold it to him. But I've got some new stuff here we ordered for it. Uh, this is the brand new uh, Spartan Vortex VX1N Flybarless System. Okay, and uh, Phil decided to get it also with the Datapod. So when you go to the field, you can make adjustments, and you don't have to... Uh, bring a computer, a laptop with you, okay? Uh, the other thing he decided to go with was was recommended um, by Saab, I guess. Uh, uh, he said was the HK111 550 kv Scorpion motor, okay? Pull it out of the bag because my buddy Phil will say, "Why is it not still in the bag?" <laughs> but there it is. That's the Scorpion motor that's going to go in there, guys. Okay. And I'll show you the Spartan stuff up close. Okay. Now this is the data pod. Okay, and the cable in there uh, to connect it to the unit. Okay. You have the option to get this guys together. Phil decided to get the uh, kit together here. Alright, I'll show you this. We'll give you a sticker in there and information. Some couple of two, three, four, five whole pile of sticky pads and uh, your wiring equipment in there. Alright, that's what that looks like. I got this guys. We uh, Got it from uh, www.rcgalore.net. Uh, that's where the helicopter came from. And uh, so we decided to get the rest of the stuff. We got some outrage servos for it. I showed you those already. Uh, in the other video, um, one thing I wanted to talk about, guys, quick, and it's not really a video about packaging, but this stuff came, look at the way this was packaged. This was what I was talking about in some of the other videos. They triple packaged this, guys. Padded package. Three triple packages to make sure this stuff didn't get damaged when it was sent here to me. And that's one thing that's very impressive, you know. The shipping uh, from this new website that I've been dealing with after, like I said, Ready Healy went out of business. Uh, who used to deal with a lot down in Florida. Uh, they went out in the winter time. Uh, but so far I've had very good luck with this company. Uh, quick, quick shipping. Everything well packaged. Nothing damaged. And that says a lot. Um, so I want to thank Alan at, at www.rcgalore.net again uh, for uh, hooking us up with this nice stuff. And uh, the other thing, too, guys, anything over $75 ships for free. Uh, but Phil's going to get this stuff um, put in this weekend, uh, and hopefully he'll have this thing flying. He's got the servos already in. Now, Spartan has always been known for making very, very good gyros back in the day. And this is a new system. 
uh, like I said, it's the Vortex VX1N flywireless system. So I'm, uh, I've heard a lot of good things about it. I'm a Beast X Mikado guy myself, uh, but I've heard very, very good things about this unit. Um, I have no experience of using it yet, but we're going to see how it works and how it handles, and we'll definitely get back to you with a review on that, guys. I definitely know from back in the day of gyros that uh, Spartan always made very good stuff. Uh, it says it's made in England. Um, and it works off satellite units for anybody who wants to know. Um, and it's like the Mikado V-Bar where all the programming has to be done on the computer. You have to download the software and uh, go through the, you know, the steps and the stages. Okay. But anyways, I felt bad, guys, because I know you were looking forward to that, that you know, uh, the 570 Goblin and the build and everything, and I sold it. So I'm trying to kind of keeping you in the loop of what's going on with it here and uh, you know hopefully uh, it'll be flying soon and you can see Phil, Phil uh, tooling this thing around um, and like I said one of the reasons guys it was too similar for me to the to the 500 Goblin uh, and I really am happy now with, with what I have right now because there's three helicopters that fly totally different I'm not one of those guys that wants an aligned 250, 450, 500, 550, 600, you know, 700, 800. In my opinion, if any, you know, the 500, 600, 700, 800 all fly pretty, pretty similar to me. I mean, this thing actually, I mean, it flies easier. The bigger the blades get, the easier it's going to fly and everything. But I just don't want that many helicopters in a fleet to, uh, to maintain and take care of. I'd rather have uh, three that really fly uh, uh, differently, you know. Uh, but anyways, uh, this is the stuff, like I said in the other video, I showed the servos, the outrage he was going to use. So he has all the equipment, guys, and uh, hopefully uh, it'll be together soon and you can uh, see a flight of it. So I thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully we'll have that bird in the air soon. Thanks.